So we're here at the ID Tech X show. And uh, who are you? <laughs> I'm Michael Ketta. And uh, what is the company that you're doing here? We do uh, local positioning system tracking. So we do sports performance tracking for uh, uh, elite, elite level athletes, athletic teams. With a sensor um, like this and some equipment? With an uh, with ultra wideband local positioning system. So we have a, a tag that we put onto the onto the, the specimen, onto the athlete, and we, we, we tra can track their whereabouts down to about two centimeters uh, of accuracy within a, a hundred meter area around a single, around a single hub that, that costs you know, less than $5,000 for a single system like that. So you have some sensors over there? What is that? Yeah, this is the, the central tracking hub. So this is a hub we place, for example, in the middle and, and the image on screen there. You've got an athlete running down the bore site, running, running away from it. And we're tracking. Is it calibrated and going in a specific direction with the signals and stuff? That's right. Yeah. So we we, we calibrated to uh, within within whatever environment we've got. This one is, is calibrated to work hemispherically. So we get the 3D position of the of the tag as it runs up to 100 meters away. And then you can see it in the app, or and then we we display the results. Not not really this very second. We're not, but <laughs> we display the results for the coaches real time. So they'll get results. Uh, they'll get velocity curves and uh, interesting data like that uh, instantaneously as opposed to you know later on in the week when the when the analysts have their their job done and uh, and uh, who are you I'm Jim Miller I'm the executive chairman of the company uh, we have developed a unique precision all-in-one system for monitoring sport sport uh, Activity. activities sport medicine sport rehabilitation in addition to which we can monitor concussion and many forms of uh, healthcare applications, particularly chronic disease conditions such as cardiovascular disease and uh, concussion. And How can you monitor that? Because people behave differently, they move differently? They move. Movement is essentially one of the, the sixth vital sense, if you want to call it that, and, and we're able to do that down to a precision level of two centimeters. Uh, which is very unique for any application, whether it be for speed, acceleration monitoring, or for healthcare movement with regards to some chronic condition. Would you have different sensors on each leg, or just one uh, around the waist? Where do you, you put have it? Different sensors um, around around your body. So this acts as a conduit for various other sensors, which we, are smaller we, than that one. Which which can be often can be quite smaller than this one. That that, uh, for example, accelerometers or heart rate monitors. Um, whatever sensor you'd, you'd like to connect to it through Bluetooth, low energy, or, or ANT. So you, you don't do only positioning, you do the whole package? That's right. Everything? So particularly with the... Combination, yes. The combination of effects between the precision motion, precision movement activity, together with the involvement of, of vital sign measurements, of sensors. So all the other sensors, whether it be EKG or respiratory rate or blood pressure, can all be monitored simultaneously and fed through our tag and then to our hub system, which gives you a, a very contextual information as to what's been going on with the individual. So what, what do you think about uh, working in this industry, uh, uh, the company? What do you, how did you get this to this technology? And how, how, long did it, how long did you work on this? I've been working in the area of medicine for, for 40 years. 40 years, yeah. And, uh, but did you do some trackers before? No, just tracking. One, one, of, the, one of the important parts of, of uh, new technology as it applies to healthcare is the need to address the very difficulties of remote patient monitoring. And that's really the fundamental of what we're after is to use our technology for that, for that very purpose. So would people... Outside of, the ho outside of the hospital environment, outside of the clinic environment, but in the home environment. How do you install something like this at home? Those are, this these are, like these are, no, this is, this is a prototype system. Our other systems have been, in fact, they're out in the field being used today. We haven't got enough of them available. Oh, yeah? So this is the actual, this is the, ah, it looks like this a... is the system that we have. Uh, that is there, and nice. that is that is the the, the precise. This is right the, here. The, much much smaller. The latest form. The latest form of that. So um, that's the X Y Z. Or what does it stand for? The those three. Are, those three are the actual uh, antenna. the antenna that are positioned around, which allow you to do a 3D 3D motion capture systems, basically. 
so it's going to be not just for super athletes. It no, no, be this for is for everybody. anybody. This is this yeah. was priced. Or this is actually developed and priced for use for the the lowest common denominator being the case where someone is uh, someone has a one of their children playing soccer. They could be using this on the sideline with their with their local soccer team, for example. I'd like an app that tells me, hey, you, your posture is wrong. You yeah. need to walk uh, better. I can fix you like this. Yeah. 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 And, and give me some tips in the app. Sure. Uh, exactly and it, everybody should have that, right? That's exactly, it's actually very important. That's exactly what this can. This is able to do. So it's again is is being able to integrate the information from a wide variety of sensor systems and to tag those together so that you come up with some really informative, actionable outcome measures that you can actually address and develop for uh, enhancing the, your activity level. Your, uh, so your Johnny can learn how to play soccer a lot faster and a lot better than he was before, or play hockey or basketball or whatever. So what's next for your company? Are you gonna launch? We're, we, we've launched now with the, one of the Olympic teams, the speed skating, speed skating Olympic uh, players, and in fact, you can see one of For the, the US? one of this is the can, uh, Canadian. Canadian. We're a Canadian company. Yeah. So the Canadians uh, are definitely going to win the next Olympics. Well, the Canadians have several, always several medals. Uh, they've always won, won the, some gold medals. This is this is the this is the highest product, producing gold medal winning team ever in the in the Olympics from Canada. So this is so this is the sensor is on. Sure, yeah, of course, yeah. So where do you put it? The sensor is on. This is our tag, our hub in the center of the ice. One one hub. One thing. One hub, and and each individual on the on the rink has a tag on. As they're coming around, they're actually being. And this is you're following the actual movement of those of those of those individuals around the ice. And you can measure that. Plus, you can measure. All the other, all the other vital signs at the same time. These being heart rate, respiration rate, the speed of acceleration, the speed of deceleration, and their trajectory. The They're trajectory. For, you know, five centimeters can can make uh, the difference between last place and first place in, in short track speed skating. So, what, so it's what they very accurate. Was, yeah, down to down to two centimeters in this. In two centimeters, but not one, constant, right? Yes. You get. No, is no, it it's, constant track? It's constant. Uh, it is. This is constant, yeah, constant tracking. tracking. This is down. We can measure down to a hundredth of a second on any of these activities, the activity level from a speed perspective. So if you were in fact uh, running combines in the in the in the say for football, football combines where you actually are running, you know, athletes through different test procedures, you could actually do this, and with one device, run. For speed, acceleration, agility, and also jump. So three of the core features that are required for any anything like this. And, and yield, not just the the final number. We're not yielding a 4.2 seconds. We're yielding 4.2 seconds and 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 the entire history of, of that of that athlete through that through that 40 yard dash. So we get we get to give the athlete a, a velocity curve. That, that tells them a lot more than than you know than, than the high level number does. So actually, you've been uh, helping out the Canadian team for a while, or is it new? A few months. Yeah, we've, a few months. We've been yeah. Ah, a few months. So it's enough yeah. to. When is the next Olympics? February. February. In February. So like. And they're using three months. They're, that's why they're going to win. The, that's why they're going to win even more gold medals. So you, <laughs> you should get one of the gold medals, right? At least a Is piece of it, at least a, at least a shard of, of no, no. one of the gold. No, medals. that's not how it works. I don't. They don't give gold medals for technology. <laughs> we get we get a blue ribbon. No. Like uh, they give Oscars for you know uh, uh, the yeah. technical for Oscars. everybody ever for the, the, the bathroom camera attendant. people and yeah, stuff. Everybody. It, it would be nice, but I don't think I don't think so. We, we'll have the pride of winning and being contributors. So Canada is always number one in that sport. It has been. Yes. Yeah, and so who's number two, usually? Uh, the United States has been pretty good about that. Yeah, so they must be a little bit. Uh, they should. They should be very interested. They should be very interested in our, in our technology. They should definitely contact you. Where are you based? In Vancouver, British Columbia. Vancouver, so they can just cross over, take a boat. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Yes. All right. Cool. All right.